Hey everyone, it's your girl Twin D. Thanks again for stopping by, my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And all my new viewers, welcome. And please subscribe, share, and leave your comments. I do respond to every comment. Anyways, guys, I want to give you a joke before I begin. For the past two weeks, I was, well, it's a little personal, but I want to show you something. I want to show you how God works and through this twin flame journey. And what better way to show you other than giving examples based off of my experiences. Anyways, for the past two weeks, I was talking to this guy over the phone because he, he was in the U.S. I'm in Canada. Oh, I just saw 222. Anyways, and 111. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. 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 Focus, focus. <laughs> Anyways, I was talking to this guy for over two weeks because I was saying to myself, my divine masculine is taking light years to come. Right? <laughs> These light years aren't quick any at all. So I was thinking, what is it going to hurt if I go talk to somebody else, you know, until he comes? I mean, he's in the U.S. So even if I talk to him, nothing will come of it because he's so far away from me. Actually, the guy just showed up in my life through my sister and we just began talking like that. But anyways, things were getting a little interesting and we were getting really deep within each other. I really liked this guy just by talking to him over the phone and video calling and whatever. And I decided to find out who is this guy and why, why, why am I so freely talking to him and you know, why do I feel so comfortable around him? Because I'm getting kind of a little confused now about who this twin flame person is and who this guy is. Like, am I making a mistake? Was I making a mistake? Was, is my twin flame just preparing me for this guy that just came in? Or is my twin flame my real twin flame? Anyways, guys, I am saying to God, God, why did you put this guy in my life knowing that when my twin flame comes back, I'm going to have to disappoint this guy and tell him I can't talk to him anymore? Well, I mean, I wouldn't explain it to him, but I would have to, like, you know, stop talking to him, like, break up with him or something. And I'm saying, God, you know I'm not like that. You know I don't like to hurt people's feelings. You know I, you, you know I can't do that. How, how am I going to do that? Why did you put this guy in my life? I mean, I wanted to move forward without thinking about my, my DM because it, it, it had hurt too much and I wanted something to take my mind off him. And then God sent this guy in my life. So I said, thank you, Jesus. And then I started to look at the other side. How do I get rid of him when my divine masculine comes back? We, even without hurting his feelings. And I was even happy that he was in the U.S., so I couldn't really see him in person, you know? So anyways, yesterday, I was talking to him, as usual, in the morning, WhatsApp, in the evening, in the afternoon, every day. Morning, noon, and night we spoke. And I was talking to my sister on, um, I think, Monday night. And I was checking my YouTube messages and so And I ended up going to my bed like after 11 or something like that. And then the next morning he texted me and asked me what time I went to my bed because I said to him I was so tired. So he asked me what time I went to bed because I had stopped talking, talking to him like around um, sometime after nine. 
and I said to him after 11. But anyways, to make a long story short, I think he was upset because he's saying, he was saying, he thought I was speaking to somebody else, I guess. But anyways, yesterday I sent him a message. He responded just as usual. But then in the evening, he texted me and he said that um, he really liked my company and stuff, but he doesn't think that he could be my friend, that we could be friends. So I, I texted him and I asked him why, but he didn't respond. And I asked him if he was joking around because he was joking with something like that before. No answer. So I, I told him, okay, bye. I really enjoyed your company too and whatever. So bye. Okay. So he broke up with me over the phone. And I'm saying, oh my God, why did this happen? 555. Change, baby. <laughs> I'm saying, God, why did this happen? No, my heart is broken. I can't take any more broken hearts. Why did you let my heart get broken again? And then I started, I got upset. And then I was pulling some cards to find out the energy. I'm saying, what happened? What just happened between me and this guy? What's the energy between me and this guy? And the card that I got was the broken heart. Of course my heart's broken. The guy just dumped my ass. <laughs> so of course my heart was broken. Right? Oh my God. And then I asked for another card. And the card that I got, let me show you. Um, I got to show you this. Because this is crazy. I... I, I almost wanted to, to cry. So I asked for any, me the mess any message from the angels regarding what just happened and this breakup, what just happened. And the card that I got, oh, where is it? Where is it? I'm coming, guys. I'm looking for that card. The card that I got was this one. Beloved one, Archangel Shamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So that's my answer. I asked God, how am I going to get rid of this guy when my twin flame returns? Because I don't want to break anybody's heart. And out of nowhere, this guy texted me and broke up with me. We didn't even start a good relationship, but he broke up with me. And when I asked the angel for a message regarding what just happened and regarding my feelings and what happened between me and this guy just now regarding the breakup, this is what the angel said, beloved one, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So yes, the angels are helping me to make sure that when my twin flame comes back, I don't have to break anybody's heart. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say to you guys is, if you are truly on your twin flame journey, and you know that you're on your twin flame journey. I would not go ahead and try to move on because I was just a little fed up or I'm tired of the hurt and pain. Because God is going to get you back. God is going to get you. He got me. I, I tried to move on. I tried to form a relationship with some guy. And look what he did. He just cut the guy out of my life just like that. Focus on your journey, he's trying to say to me. He was there to make you feel good within yourself and to make you happy and try to not focus on your twin so you can move forward. 
what he's typically saying is that that wasn't permanent. So it doesn't matter what relationship you move on to after or trying to move away from this journey. You are going to be pulled back. And from what happened to me, I see that all my relationships, they, they're going to get broken up. And I'm tired of the heartache. So it's best I stay where I am and wait until this guy comes back while still doing me and not focusing on him. The same way God took this guy from my life, it's the same way God would put my twin flame back into my life. I'm sticking to my journey. I'm waiting around, but I'm not waiting, sitting and looking down and saying, where is he? Where is he? No. This is a journey from God. And I'm sticking with it. Because if there's something that I should do, if there's God's work that I should do with this person, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I do whatever it takes to make sure this guy comes back into my life so we can be together and do God's will. Anyways, enough of my mumbling. Let's begin the reading. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, let's begin. I, w I just wanted to do a short reading today, but all my rambling took up most of the time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I wanted to find out the energy of the Divine Masculines just to see if anything has changed. Just based off what happened yesterday, just want to see if anything has changed between them. And if you listen to my podcast on anchor.fm or on Spotify, you can read my description. Two, 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 let's manifest. <laughs> you can read my, my description and you see there are six, um, six podcasts that my, that my podcast shows up on. We just want to find out the energy that the masculine is in and if anything has changed. Okay. Oh, and guys, please, please, please watch my ads that come up on my video. They'll help my channel. Yes, they'll help my channel so much. I will appreciate it, guys. Please. Anyways, let's begin. What energy is a divine masculine in? What energy is a divine masculine in? What's a divine masculine's energy? Ho, ho, ho. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Let's find out anything else. Let's find out if there's anything else. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. There's another card. I didn't even see it. Woman holding coin. The woman holding a coin. This came out in the reading that I did where I was comparing the divine masculine's energy and the feminine energy. This came out on the feminine side. And now it's on the masculine side. Well, it's in the masculine's reading. So I wonder this is how he's looking at you. Let me get one more energy card. What's the Divine Masculine's energy at this time? What's the Divine Masculine's energy at this time? Holy! Holy! Divine Masculine's energy at this time. Man holding a heart. Isn't this lovely? So somebody's holding on to somebody. And this is a nine. Ending. 
New beginning is going to start. Let me find out. The fifth chakra. Archangel Gabriel. I'm sorry guys, I'm just trying to read this card. So your divine masculine, I think he's ready to talk. I think he's ready to talk. He's in the energy of talking. He's going to clear his chakra. You're going to be listening and he's going to be talking. And look how he's smiling, Archangel, Shami, I mean Gabriel. Something pleasant. But your divine masculine is in the talking mood. Boy wants to talk. And look at her. It still relates to the masculine. But I think... Even though this is a woman, it's still relating to the masculine because this is the energy he's in. He's in. The woman holding a coin. He's seen himself as being fulfilled. He has whatever he needs to move forward to you now. He's saying, I have everything that I need to treat this woman the way that she should be treated. I have everything that I need now to give her whatever it is that she needs. And I want to talk to her about it. I want to make sure she knows that I want to be with her. And I want us to grow together and blossom and flourish because I am now ready to be a man because I've gathered everything that I have and bringing it to you. This woman is serious but not unhappy. Serious as in meaning business. This is what I'm going to do and I mean it. And look, now he's coming to you with his heart in his hand, ready to give it to you. Because he knows the right person to give his heart to know. He knows the person that he should give his heart to know. And if you look on his, his leg, it's like he cut that heart right out of his clothes. And this can go back to even Adam and Eve's time when God made the woman out of the man. That's what I'm getting. When God made the woman out of the man. It's the same way this masculine is going to take his heart from his body and give it to the divine feminine. And I don't mean that literally. Please don't go crazy. Okay, guys? Please. But he's coming with his heart in his hand and he's going to offer it to you. Because no, he means business. He's giving you a part of himself. He knows you're the right person to give it to. And the only person to give it to. I don't think he has ever given his heart to any other woman before. He may have loved them, yes. But he has never taken a piece of his soul and given it to any of them. But that's what he's going to do for you. That's what he's saying. 
And he's serious about it. He's very serious about that. Which I think this goes back to my reading when I drew that card where he says to wait for him. And it's the same thing. Maybe it's the same reason why I had to tell you that story before I begin. Before I began this reading. Because he's saying, I'm coming. I am coming. I want to talk to you. I now have everything that I needed to show you that I am a man, that I want to be the man that you deserve. And now I have everything. And I'm going to offer you my soul, my heart and my soul. Okay. Let's... um. This from my um, lover's oracle messages from my lover's oracle. Okay, any message regarding this? Oh my, oh my, okay, please. <laughs> Guys, I was just like half of the deck flew out. It's like half of my deck. Come on, guys, take your time, man. Okay, three, I got three cards that, that was facing this way. I got three cards that were facing this way and the others were, were face down. So I'm going to take these cards. So this first card that I got and the message, love is beyond the brain. And I got this already. This card came out already. It's beyond the brain. It's within your soul. It's within your soul. And the Divine Masculine is going to offer you a piece of his soul. Love is beyond the brain. Two, two, two. Okay. And the second card... Look how beautiful these cards are. Every time I pull them, I, I have to say that. <laughs> Look how beautiful these cards are. Now let's read the message. Love is perfect even when we are not. Why am I getting... These are the... Oh my God, I got this card already too. Love is perfect even when we are not. So this is what he's going to... Well, let me not say that. I don't want anybody to get carried away here, but... Because I don't know what they're going to say. But this is like depicting what he's going to say to you. Which is why he wants to talk to you. Only love is perfect. We are not perfect. We are not perfect. But love is. And because love is perfect. He's going to come to you. And offer you his soul. 333. Three, three. A man can offer you his heart. But when he offers you his soul, that's a part of him. You're already a part of him. But he's going to offer you his soul. And the third card. So beautiful. Look like something Christmassy. <laughs> the message says, For hearing my thoughts, understanding my dreams, and being my best friend, for filling my life with joy, and for loving me without end, I do. Holy crap. This sounds like a proposal to me. <laughs> sounds like a wedding to me, like vows. His life he's going to give to you. His life he wants to give to you. He knows you hear his thoughts. He knows you're his best friend. He knows you were there for him when nobody else was. He knows you love him. He knows you give him joy that nobody else does. 
And he knows he loves you or you love him without end. Unconditional love. He knows you love him unconditionally. And he does want to be with you. My God, this sounds like some wedding vows. Anybody getting married out there? Let me know. <laughs> oh my God. I love, I love these cards. I love my cards. I love my cards. God speaks through them so much. Truthfully. Okay. Let me go to, I got these new cards and I want to see what messages I can get from them. It's the Love and Light deck by Doreen Virtue. These are basically messages from above, from God, your spirits, your spirit guides. Okay, so let's see what messages do you have for the Divine Masculine and Feminine at this time. What messages do you have? What message do you have for your Divine Masculine and Feminine? What message do you have regarding Divine Masculine's energy? What message do you have regarding Divine Masculine's energy? No message? Any message? Anything? Oh Lord, nothing. Okay, I got something. Patience is its own reward. You crown the year with a beautiful harvest. Even the hard path, pathways overflow with abundance. See? That's what, I, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what this whole message is about. At the end of your journey, all you're going to have is abundance overflowing. At the end of your journey, all you're going to have is abundance. A beautiful harvest. Look how abundant that masculine looks. Because he knows his end result and what he wants to talk to you about. His end result, which is going to be offering you his soul. Because in the end, patience is going to pay off. It has started to pay off for him, which is why he's becoming abundant. He became abundant. He had everything. He now has everything, I should say, that he can offer you. And he was patient about it, even though we were not sometimes. I mean, what, who am I kidding? All the time, I'm not patient. I want to know what's going on. Tell me what's going on, buddy. But he never spoke. He never said anything. Because maybe he didn't want to jinx it. Maybe he didn't want things to turn out the way he didn't want them to turn out. But now he's ready to talk. It's just bubbling in his throat to talk, to say something. He can't wait. But he's going to talk. And for us Divine Feminines, because we have patience. And yes, we did get patience. Or else we wouldn't be this far in the journey. It's, it's our own reward. Okay, let's see what it says in the book. I want to read what it says in the book, from the book. Let me see if I can find it. I don't even know. Oh, patience is its own reward. 73. 73, that's a 10. Completion. Exactly. Come. Completion, that's it. It's done, finito, that's it, completion. Let me read it from the book. It says, patience is its own reward. Gardening requires patience as well as trust and perseverance. Just before a seed pushes through the earth, gardeners must rely upon an, an inner knowing that the plants will grow. They take the time and effort to nurture the seeds with complete faith that their work will result in beautiful plants. 
Sometimes what we seek is right before our eyes, yet we don't see it due to familiarity or un unwariness. Becoming aware of what's right under our nose can bring about great insights. When we slow down, undercurrents of a situation can be revealed. Children have a reputation for being impatient, but perhaps they're just excited. Sorry, sorry, page stuck. But perhaps they are just excited to learn and experience as much as possible. This needs to be balanced. This needs to be balanced, though, with with enjoying the present moment. In a world intent on rushing around, it's easy to get caught up in the current. Take a moment and focus upon the stillness within, so that you may hear the voice of God's divine wisdom. You can also pray for more patience in any situation or circumstance. Hmm. That's exactly it. We need to be patient. He was patient and he knew that what he planted was going to grow. He didn't tell you he planted something. He didn't tell you he planted something within you. But now he's watching it grow and he's ready. He's ready. He's coming to you abundant, offering you his soul and heart. He's going to talk to you about that, a future. He's going to talk to you about a future. And he wants to thank you for hearing my thoughts, understanding my dreams, and being my best friend, for filling my life with joy, and for loving me without end. I do. Oh my God. This is so powerful. So powerful. Let me get one more um, message from above. We're using the Oracle, Angel Oracle card deck. Archangel Oracle cards deck. Any message for the Divine Masculine and Feminines regarding this message? Any messages regarding Divine Masculine's energy? Okay, it was going to come out, sorry. Any message regarding the Divine Masculine's energy? Okay. It says, Clear Sentience. Archangel Raguel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Exactly. Exactly. So maybe when you're pushed to do things, you feel you're being pushed, you're being guided divinely by God. And the divine masculine is being guided by God. He knows what he's doing. We don't know because he never spoke to us. He never said anything. But his feelings, he listened to his feelings. As they're coming from God. God is speaking to him. And that's the reason why he's at this point as to where he wants to talk to you and offer you his heart and soul. Let's welcome these divine masculines when they show up, ladies and gentlemen. They are being guided divinely by God. And our patience is our own reward as well as his patience is his own reward. <clears throat> we are his reward because we were patient waiting on him. So we're going to be his reward and he's going to be our reward, which is going to bring us two souls together as one. This even looks as if they're standing in front, like in front of a pastor, ready to get married or something. And look at the lady's hand. It's like it's on, it's on her, her tummy, like she's pregnant. 444. Four, four. Oh, as I said, that 444 four, four, balance. Everything's going to be balanced and okay. Because 
They're both abundant now. Oh my God, they're going to bring forth fruit. Oh my, I could go on and on. Oh my God, guys. This is beautiful. Thank you, God, for everything. Patience is a virtue. Just like doing virtue. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please remember to watch my ads, please. <laughs> and please come back for more. Thank you, guys. I love you all. Bye.